Now in this video, we are going to discuss what will be your resultant drafts if your ship is floating from salt water to fresh water density. Now, if you can remember all of the details on the screen, you will not have any difficulty on having other computations. Okay, if your ship is floating to extreme water density or dock water or fresh water, whatever. Okay, now. All you have to remember is this. Salt water to fresh water, draft increases. Fresh water to salt water, draft decreases. Okay, very simple. Density is, well, what's density? Mass per unit of volume. Hence, we call it tons per cubic meters. Salt water density is 1.025 tons per cubic meter. Fresh water density, it's 1.00030 tons per cubic meter. Dock water density, 1.001 to 1.024 between fresh water and salt water density. Okay? Now, extreme water densities, these are densities less than fresh water or above sea water. Now, 1.000, okay, if it's less than 1.000, usually around 0 0.99. Normally, they are in Panama Canal, okay, in my experience. In 1.025, if I remember, Red Sea is around 1.032, okay? More than 1.025, more than sea water density. Now, in our example here, okay, I have put the steps and solutions here, so it's easy to understand, but also I will explain how I got my answers, okay? Now, MV Egeo is floating on drafts forward 13.9 meters. Aft draft 14.3, floating in salt water. Calculate her fresh water allowance when she passes from salt water to fresh water density. And you have to find the resulting drafts. Okay? The solution is, number one, find the true mean draft. Find the mean draft of forward and aft, then apply correction to obtain the true mean draft. Okay, so letter A, mean draft is forward and aft. Okay, we have to compute. Okay, I'm gonna put my solution here. Okay, forward is 13.9 plus 14.3. Okay, I'm gonna put equal sign so people won't get confused. Okay, there we go. 13.9 plus 14.3 divided by 2. Okay, I have my calculator here. Okay, 13.9 plus 14.3. Divided by 2 is 14.1 hour mean drafts. Okay, I'll put it here. MD equals 14.10 meters. Okay, this is our mean draft. Now, for the, uh, okay, then obtain LCF in hydrostatic tables. I have a copy of my hydrostatic particulars here. The LCF, okay, for 14.10 draft, okay, is 3.98 this is lcf okay 3.98 okay then we'll have to put it here lcf lcf is 3.98 meters okay now for the trim okay to find the correction you have to find the trim 14.3 minus 13.9 is 0 0.4 meters okay trim is difference of forward and half graphs okay trim times LCF 3.98 divided by 220. In this example, okay, LBP or length between perpendiculars of MB and Geo is 220 meters. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. Now, 0 0.4 times 3.98 divided by 220. 0 0.007. Okay, so that's our correction. Correction is equals to 0 0.007 okay, m meters. Okay, now to find the true mean draft, all we have to do is 14.10 plus the correction 0 0.007. So the answer will be around 14.107 TMD is equals to 14.107 m. Okay, next. This is very simple. You could do this at home. Or if you are just a brand new or newly on board cadet. Now, number two, step two. Obtain the hydrostatic particulars at true mean draft. Find the displacement and TPC from the hydrostatic table at TMD 14.107. Our answer earlier. Displacement at draft 
Okay, 87,094.77. This one, our TPC is 67.05. 67.05. Here, you could see on the hydrostatic tables. Okay, 14.10. 87,094.77, 67.05. That's why I put it here. Now, for the next step is this. You have to multiply increment times 100 times TPC. Our increment or the correction a while back is 0 0.007 multiplied by 100 times the TPC. This is the formula. The answer is 46.94. Okay, all you have to do is add. Okay. 87,094.77 okay plus 46.94 my displacement at 14.107 meters is 87,141 141 oh, there we go okay for oh, 87,000 141.71 Oh 141 Okay This is our displacement at 14.107 meters Now Obtain the TPC from answered displacement Okay Okay Since Okay We have here 67.1 this one 67.05 between 67.07 so all we have to do is find the mean of the two okay 67.05 plus 67.07 67.07 divided by 2 67.06 okay that will be our TPC, okay, 67.05 for 14.10, okay, we have 2 plus it with the 67.07, okay, so the mean, okay, 67.05 plus 67.07 divided by 2 is 67.06, okay, we put it here, answer is 67.06. Sixty-seven point zero six. Okay. Now, solve for the freshwater allowance. Calculate the freshwater allowance using the formula displacement four times TPC. Then divide answer to one thousand because answers here are always in millimeters if it's freshwater allowance. Now the solution will be. I'm gonna put it here. Hang on. Okay. Displacement, okay, 87,141.71 divided by 4, okay, times the TPC a while back, 67.06. Okay, I have my calculator here. Okay, 8, oh, 4 times 67.06. 268.24 okay so if we try to divide that one 87,141.71 okay divided by 268.24 our answer is 324 but we have to divide that with 1000 okay the answer should be converted to millimeters our answer our freshwater allowance is 0 0.3 Two five. Okay, my answer for fresh water allowance, fresh water allowance is equals to 0 0.325. Okay, M. Okay, don't forget the sign. M. This one, put it here. Tons. Okay, now to find the resulting drafts. Okay, find the resulting draft by applying fresh water allowance into the initial draft at perpendiculars. This one. Okay, I put it here. The initial draft okay is 13.9 after draft 14.3 and we have a trim 0.4 meters by the stern okay how do we know if, if it's trimmed by the stern if the aft draft is higher than the forward draft if this one is higher then you have 
trim by the head. Now, fresh water allowance is plus 0.325. It's very easy. Okay? 0 0.325, 13.9 plus 0 0.325. I have my calculator here. 14.2. Two, three, okay, meters, foot meters, okay. Now fourteen point three, fourteen point three plus zero point three two five, fourteen point six three, fourteen point sixty three. Okay, so this will be your resulting drafts. Okay, if your ship moves from salt water to fresh water, your draft will increase okay what did i say at the start of the video okay if you're floating from salt water to fresh water draft increases okay as you can see here this was our initial drafts okay then we move to fresh water then this is our final drafts our draft increase 14.23 and 14.63 so it's very simple to find the resulting drafts in our next video i would give you examples from fresh water to salt water or fresh water to let's say extreme water densities and so on and so forth okay this is very simple if you have questions just comment down below and i will do my best to answer it as quickly as i can again thank you for watching my video hope you guys learned something new be happy be healthy and most importantly to god be all the glory keep safe take good care